After learning the correct fundamentals of volleyball, drills can be used to improve serving, passing, setting, spiking, and blocking. This film will show the correct fundamental techniques and the methods for practicing these fundamentals. All American players from the Pasadena YMCA, coached by Gene Selznick, will demonstrate the fundamentals by use of drills. Elementary drills followed by advanced drills will be demonstrated to show the basic fundamentals of volleyball. The United States Open Championship team, the Hollywood YMCA stars, coached by Harry Wilson, will then show the drills and methods that they use in practice sessions. Players stand behind the service line on both sides of the court and practice serving for accuracy. The player should use the underhand serve only until he learns the overhand serve. In the underhand serve, the player keeps his eyes on the ball as he hits it out of his hand. In the overhand serve, the ball is tossed in front of the face and hit with the heel of the hand. In the following scenes, the players practice passing drills. They pass the volleyball high against the wall. As the ball is hit, there's a coordinated follow through of the whole body. Two players practice passing to develop good ball handling skills. Players in a semicircle pass the ball to the leader and he returns the pass to them. This is a good basic drill for learning the correct techniques of passing. The hands are slightly cupped and facing outward toward the ball. The ball is contacted with the fingertips rather than the palms of the hands. The ball is passed around in a circle. The passer faces the player for whom the pass is intended. Players move under the ball and make the pass. When the ball is contacted, the arms are above the shoulders and ahead of the body. Players in a line hit the ball at least 12 feet high against the wall and then move to the end of the line. Notice how the players quickly assume position to make the pass. The arms are extended in a smooth follow through motion after the ball is contacted. The underhand bounce pass should be used only when the player is unable to execute the regular chest pass. Notice how the player keeps his eyes on the ball as it bounces off the fist or forearms. The player recovers the ball off the net with a bounce pass. The eyes are kept on the ball as the player assumes a deep knee bend position. Emphasis should be placed on hitting the ball up so it can be spiked. The 
leader passes the ball to the players and they return it to him using the regular chest pass or bounce pass. The players assume a ready position to hit the ball. The fingers are parted and pointed upward. In the following scenes, players practice setting drills. Each player has a ball and practices passing from 12 to 16 feet high. This is a good preliminary set drill because it develops ball control and touch. The player lays his fingers back and a wrist snap is used to achieve power, control and accuracy. Players on the end pass to the center. The center practices the front and back set. They change places so everyone can practice from the center position. On the back set, the player gets underneath the ball, lays the fingers back and flicks the ball over his head. The following scenes show spiking drills. The player spikes the ball so it bounces about two to three feet from the wall. The ball rebounds to the spiker and he jumps up and spikes the volleyball to the floor. This is the offhand spike. The volleyball is spiked with the heel of the hand or a cupped hand. Notice the tremendous wrist action as the player spikes the ball. This is the on-hand spike. The spiker hits the ball above the net and in front of the body so it follows a downward flight. Notice how the spiker's hand is cocked behind his head before he spikes the ball. A whip-like arm swing is used. This is the deep set and spike. The player jumps high and spikes the ball above his head using a topspin, so it angles downward into the opponent's court. In this drill, one of the backline players moves to the net to become a setter. He can set the ball forward, backward, or make a short set to the player beside him. Notice that three spikers move in to spike every set ball. In the following scenes, let us observe the methods and advanced drills used in practice sessions by the Hollywood YMCA stars, United States Open champions in seven of the last ten years. In practice, the players concentrate on basic fundamentals of volleyball, serving, receiving, setting, spiking, and blocking. Players practice serving and receiving. This is a good beginning warm-up drill which gives the players a chance to practice serving for accuracy, speed, and deception. In the turn and pass drill, 
players learn to move into position to pass the ball and become oriented to court positions. The overhead pass drill is excellent for practicing the front and back set. The players warm up by spiking regular sets. As the drill is continued, players practice blocking the spike. Players practice spiking, while men on the other side of the net practice receiving. Now, the team practices the low set and spike. In a practice session, emphasis is placed on drills relating to game situations. Spikers should practice spiking at different speeds and to different parts of the court. Both right and left hand spikes should be practiced. The team practices the shoot set and spike. The ball is passed from one side of the court to the other so it can be spiked before a block is formed. In the jump and pass drill, the player passes the ball and moves to the opposite line. As the season progresses, drills are practiced to overcome team weaknesses. Here the team practices the bounce pass. There's no substitute for practice. By knowing correct fundamentals and practicing drills, you can develop skill and enjoyment in this newest Olympic sport, volleyball.